I say after I signed, I went up in a way where like I I'm not gonna like I would say being with Badass Entertainment it helped my name it helped me grow a, a fan base like my followers went up my fan base went up a little bit but as far as them doing anything for me as far as promotion marketing boom 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 it was like I was put on the shelf and like everybody felt like damn she hard like why why ain't nobody doing it? even when i did drop it was like watch your fucking friends them boys your friend and no ain't too many solid down keep a g for the love of money and these bitches they'll break the ten yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk no i i would honestly say my life is my my best years have been out of louisiana really yeah it's like when i left my life just start going. Mm. Uh, Damn. So you. And how old were you when you left Louisiana? I was twenty four. Mm. Twenty four, twenty five. Now oh. I, I had just signed the Boosties, so I was. I was, yeah, about I was to like ask you about that. Twenty four, twenty five. So when yeah. you, okay, you don't just sign the Boosie, okay? <laughs> that most niggas come on here, they try to pull and move. I just signed. No, no, it was a process, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me the process to how you even be met Boosie, be became uh, 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 even in his sight to say, I'm going to sign Nina Loretta. So I had this song called Who Is You? Look at me, look at you. Look at me, look at you. Look at me, look at you. Who is you, who is you? I get the and it was it was already going up in like my city and stuff in Louisiana. It was on the radio and everything. So it, it was it was getting me pretty popular. So um we actually went out there where Boosie was. We went to his house and I played some of my music for him. And it's funny because when I played the music for him, I'm kind of shy. So I'm just sitting in the back in the studio. Everybody in there, his whole little clique, because this is his birthday. So they finna go out anyways. He's sitting there rolling his blunt. They playing the music. Everybody in there like, who the fuck this? Who the fuck is this? She dope as fuck. I'm stepping on bitches. Keep posing their feelings. You hoes delirious. I'm going to keep chasing the bag. I'm going to keep stepping the business. Hey, if that's a nigga, I got him. I'm just sitting there in the back. I'm not saying nothing. But my manager at the time is like, there she go right there. And they all look back. And they're like, damn, she cold. And then they see my picture and they're like, damn, she cold. And they're like, yeah, we want to work with her. they like, come to the club with us. So we went to the club with them for his birthday. And I just been rocking with her. I had started rocking with him since. Wow. So that when did he, how did he approach the fact of, hey, I want to sign you? It really wasn't even approached. Like I said, he said, "Come, come, um, come, so, come out with us." I went out with them, and I just start being there all the time. Like every week, I was staying in Louisiana at the time, so I'm coming to Atlanta all the time, all the time, all the time. And like within a month of me just going to shows and stuff with them, we signed a contract. That's we what get I was a contract printed up, mm -hmm. and we signed the contract. And That's cool. Okay, uh, and and are you still on that contract now? No, my contract uh, expired. How in March. does that happen? Like, oh, oh, because it had a it had a, it had a limit on it. Yeah, so the li that's what I'm getting to. The limit was three years, so it, it it expired. And like, I still fuck with them, but it's like if you you couldn't do nothing with me in three years, then I'm not going. Did y'all ever anything. bring anything out or do anything that was that that you felt was uh, what help your career? Let's be real. Have they did anything? Have, yeah, yeah. When y'all guys, well, after you signed, was it a thing where you guys went up together? Or what you felt like? I you would say after I signed, I went up in a way where like I, I'm not gonna like I would say being with Badass Entertainment, it helped my name, it helped me grow a, a fan base. Like my followers went up, my fan base went up a little bit. But as far as them doing anything for me, as far as promotion, marketing, boom, 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 it was like I was put on the shelf and like. Everybody felt like, damn, she hard. Like, why, why ain't nobody doing? It? Even when I did drop, it was like, watch your fucking friends, them boys, your friend, them boys, ain't too many solid down, keep a G for the love of money and these bitches, they'll break the tail. Why ain't nobody pushing you harder? Boom, boom, boom. But it's like the same time, we had labels trying to work, but my management was boosting them. They weren't just going for anything. So it was a lot of you know deals turned down and it was a lot of i don't want to work with you until you out this deal with boosie yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk